Hey guys, we're getting out the 3H dry flex head ratchets again. I had a request for this. Somebody wanted to know what I own for Tecton tools. Tecton's uh, is making a, they're doing pretty good. They're, uh, they keep coming out with more and more good stuff. And there are uh, a lot of people are jumping on board with, with the brand. I don't blame them. But uh, this is my whole collection, what I have. There is some, most of it's good. Their warranty is second to none. You take a picture, you send it in, you get a new tool in a couple of days. You can't beat that with a stick. I'll be giving away these. Oh, I don't know. In a few days. Uh, these are the K-Tool screwdrivers AP set. They're made in Taiwan. That's going to be a giveaway coming up real soon. I don't want to tease you guys too much with that. <laughs> okay, what do we got here? Well, a lot of this stuff I bought a long time ago, but not all of it. Let's start here on the left here. Are these impact sockets? These both, I got the uh, half inch dry, they're both 14 piece sets. I like these and I don't. Like I said, there's a few things I don't like about Tecton. And I'll try to show you in a minute. These are heavy. I'm trying to do this. In a, you can see with the, uh, with the laser etching, you see how it fades over time? I don't, you know, that's, a, that's one thing I didn't like. And you can see over time that they fade. Look at the half inch one. They wear off after a while. They're good in a sense you can see them, and it's big, especially if you can't see like me. They stand out pretty good, but I don't know about the newer ones. These are old. They might be stamped and have the laser etch now. I'm not quite sure, but after a while, you can see the etching wears off. So I don't. that's one thing I didn't like about them. Um, it's not affecting performance anyways. They're very good performance-wise. The same with the metric set here. The metric set was the same way. You can probably see, hold on a second, get it for you. Look at the 19. See how much the 19 is faded compared to the 18 and the 21? I use the 19 a lot, needless to say. So over time, the, the etching does wear off. That's, an, that's one negative thing about that. Those sockets, like I said, I'm not sure about today's, if they have the, uh, are, if they're stamped and laser etch. I'm not sure. I bought these like 10 years ago. Next, I bought these when they first came out with these. They came out with these a couple of months ago. These are the reversible ratchet wrenches. They are four, 14-piece set, 6 to 19 mil, no skips. I love these. These are my second favorite set now. I got the, uh, I like these in my Blackhawks. But they got that satin chrome finish. Either you like it or you don't. I like it. Here's the 19 mil. They're a couple of months old. I'll do a follow-up on these probably in a month or so. I love these. This is my second favorite set, made by Tecton. I'll leave a model number in the description below. But that was a 14-piece set, and it was 6 to 19 mil. So far, they've been working great. I love reversible ratchets with the offset. Very, very nice. Uh, I think these are 72 tooth. I could be wrong, but I think they are 72 tooth. Next is that four-piece mini pry bar set. These, these are made in USA. Let's see if I can get it on. That's another thing I like about Tecton. Their warranty is great, and a lot of our tools are made in USA. And I really like to see that. You know, and any time I get a chance to support USA tools, I do it in a second. It is made in USA. I love these pry bars. They come in two thicknesses. It's four-piece set. I think it was uh, five-sixteenths and, uh, five and a quarter, I think, the shanks were. These don't bend. These are pretty stout. You know, and the handles are a good size. Uh, I did a review on them. If you, if you want to see it, it was last year sometime. A very, very nice set. I bought this four-piece mini mini player set uh, probably about eight years ago. And they got the spring in them. These things work pretty good. I've been buying, I've been buying a lot of Icon tools lately. They have been replacing some of my uh, Tecton. But I still use my Tecton's quite a bit. This was a four-piece set. This was a long reach. You know, you had the you had the duck bill. You need those. You had the uh, the 90, the 45, and last but not least, you had the straight. That's a nice little set. I use these quite a bit. I use these in my gear wrench once. This was a six-piece set. This was a player set. 
I can't remember, uh, but I'm pretty sure I bought it a six-piece set. Those were made in USA. You can see it right there. And there's another thing I didn't like about their tools is they, they do rust. For some reason, the pliers more or less, not their ratchets or their uh, wrenches or anything like that, but their, but their uh, pliers seem to rust. And this is a heated garage, guys, so there's not really any condensation. It's always at minimum, it's always 50 in here. And they tend to rust. That's one thing I don't like about Tecton. It's more cosmetic than it is than it is actual, you know, it's not affecting performance of the tool, but I don't like to see that regardless. In the back here we got the stubbies. I use these quite a bit. These are a 12 piece set. They go 8 to 19 mil. He's got a nice chrome. You got to have stubbies, guys. Nice little set. It came with that tray. I use these quite a bit. I also have some gear wrench ones I use, but Tekken's still, still in my arsenal. And I still use them quite a bit. So, I, okay, that's a 12 piece set. Let's go to the SAE. Here's the SAE set. I'm trying to walk in front of the camera. I'm always trying to get, I'm always trying to get better, guys. The SAE set was is a eight piece set. It goes five sixteenths to three quarters. It's not something you use every day, a stubby, but boy, sometimes, boy, it's nice to have them. And they both come with those trays as well. The next on the list is these combo wrenches. I bought these about, oh, I'm going to say five, six years ago. This is the 15-piece set. It goes 8 to 22 mil. No skips. Very, very nice. So it's in a, my top three. I like, I have my Tecton, my Capri, and uh, what else do I use, Jeff? <laughs> I can't even think. But Tecton and Capri are my main, oh, Icon. Those are my three main sets. Here is the SAE set, and the SAE set goes from goes from one, a quarter inch to one inch. It is 15 piece set. It does come with that tray. Not a bad looking wrench. Um, chrome's pretty durable. The fit and finish is pretty good on these guys. They're my top three sets. Oh. I used to review on these a couple days ago, I think. These are the flex head, the flex head ratchets, wrenches. And those go 6 to 19, 14 piece set. No skips. I really like these. These are uh, my top two sets. So these, all these tools you see here, you see here are in my toolbox. Hey guys, if you haven't subscribed, think about subscribing. It don't cost nothing. And I do a lot, a lot of tool reviews. Tons and tons of them. Very nice set, and uh, I've had those for uh, three months. And the flex heads are very, very tight still. They are 72 tooth. You can adjust them, and if they got if they got too loose, you could always put a wavy wash in there. I've had to do that with ratchets sometimes, but I'm not sure if I ever have to do it with these. Next of these, uh, these might be discontinued, the seven-piece sets. This is a seven-piece set. This is the SAE Long Reach Allens. I think now these are 10-piece sets, but I bought these a long time ago. This is the Torx. These are the Torx. It is also a seven-piece set. And I think these are a 10 piece set now. The long reach. This is the metric 7 piece set. Long reach Allen's. Again, I think these are 10 piece sets. They also got a master set. I think it's a 19, 19 piece set or 20. Next to the ratchets. I only own three of the ratchets. I'm not a, I don't own any comfort grips so far. I teched in. I'm not sure I, I like them. Just by looking at them, they look kind of funky, but that's just me. I had one guy say that was shaped like a toilet bowl. <laughs> well, I can't really argue that. That's the one that folds up on itself. That is one cool ratchet. Let's see if I can get a model number for you. I did a review, I did a review on this, uh, I think, last week. 
SRH25104. It is a 3H drive stubby that folds up on itself. And one guy was asking me, because they make one design where it's got the uh, quick release button for your socket. I don't, you want enough, it would, fall off, it would fall off if you fold it up. I'm going to say no because you see the gap in there. So I don't think it's going to be an issue on its brother, the one with the push button for the socket release. I don't think it would be an issue at all with that style either. The last two items here are our ratchets here. I got the uh, 3H drive and a quarter inch drive. And this 3H drive is like the micro head. It's the same size as its quarter inch drive brother as far as the head goes. That's crazy, hey? Very, very nice design. I love this lower. I just bought it, but I've already started using it. I love it. How much torque is it going to handle? Well, I don't know. I don't suggest you break loose a, frick, a, a great big rusty stubborn fastener with it. You know, use a, use a little 3H drive breaker bar, you know. That's not yet. That's how I feel. If you use a tool how it's intended to be used, I think in general you're going to be safe with any quality made tool. And there's this quarter inch drive brother, and the model number on that one is SRH3106. Both very nice ratchets, and I, I like them. I like them both. All right, guys, that's it. Uh, I just want to show what I have for tech and tools. I, I don't have tons of tech and tools, but I do got quite a bit, I guess. Um, I, it's funny, I don't have any of the screwdrivers. No, I've got a lot of screwdrivers, that's probably why. I've got so many damn screwdrivers, it's crazy. There'll be, uh, I think the flex head ratchet. I got, uh, what do I got coming here? I got, yeah, I got a Koken. I was supposed to have two Koken uh, 3H drive flex head ratchets coming. Uh, one with the comfort grip and one with the non-comfort, but the one with the non-comfort, they sent me the wrong item. <laughs> so by the time I get that, it'll be six weeks from now probably, so I might only have one in the series coming up. There's probably four or five more things I'm going to show you in the 3H drive flex head ratchet series. Leave some comments below. Let me know you want to see in the future, and uh, we'll try to make that happen, guys. And Keep in mind that uh, I'm trying to promote my giveaways as much anymore, but once in a while, I'll show you. This is going to be gone in a few days. Uh, you got to be a subscriber and comment on the video that's coming up. That's all you got to do to be in a giveaway. All right, guys. Have a great day, and uh, take care.